Hi my friends, in this video we are going to talk about permissions, which is one of the most important issues in Django. We had set some endpoints, but these endpoints are not safe. Anyone can access them and they can add whatever they want, I mean they can add comments and delete someone else's comments. Let me show you. At the top right, uh, I see that we have already logged in as admin. Now let's log out first. I refresh page. Although I logged out, the form is still here. So I can still add books as an anonymous user. Even if I go to details of any book, let's say book slash one, I am able to update or even delete that book. It is not even something that we could want to happen in a real project. In this framework world, there are safe and the unsafe methods. Methods like post, put, patch, delete are unsafe methods because they can make changes on our data, but get is a safe method because it, it cannot make any changes on our data. We need to get ahead of these situations. Let's go back to documentation. Django already has a default permission policy, which is allow any. We can also set global rules for REST framework in the in the settings. For example, there is a, a permission named is authenticated. If we set this directly as the global policy in the settings. No one will able to access our endpoints without being authenticated. Let's copy this. I want to show you. Let's go to settings. I will edit here. Let's save it. Go to Chrome again and the refresh page. As you can see, we got a warning. Authentication credentials were not provided. Because we have set the global permission policy as is authenticated. Now let's log in and try it again. Refresh. As you can see, after I logged in, I can access my endpoints without any problems. We are going to examine the permission subject and instead of going back to admin panel and the login and the logout when we need, the risk framework has provided us a convenience. We will able to log in and log out directly from here. So to do that, we need to add a path in main URLs file. Let's go to editor, go to main URLs file. This path allows us login and log out from here. So I save it and go back to Chrome again, refresh the page. By the way, we will cover these details in the following series where we will talk about advanced REST framework subjects. I'm not going to touch on this subject for now. Let's go back to documentation. I scroll down. As you can see, we have other permissions here that we can determine as the global policy for REST framework. For example, what is uh, the is admin user? Actually, a super user is not meant here. If you remember, we could give some authority such as staff user and super user while creating users in Django. Here is admin user permission means staff user. What about is authenticated or read only? I want to show it to you, so I copy it. Let's go to settings file. I change the uh, global policy here. I save it. Go to Chrome again. Refresh page. We have already logged in as admin. So let's log out. I can't add books anymore. As you can see, we don't have form here. Because the permission here does not allow unsafe methods if the user is not authenticated. 
That's why we can't do a post request. Permissions that come with Django are really nice but insufficient. I want to show you something. Let's go back to the Weaves file. We can write a custom permission for each view. Let's start doing what I mean in practice. First, go back to the settings file. Delete the global policy here. As I said at the beginning of the video, the global policy is allow any by default. There is no change between specifying any global policy and typing allow any here. There is no difference between writing uh, allow any or not writing at all. They are the same thing. So I save it and go back to views uh, again. First of all, we will import permissions from REST framework. Right click and go to definition. Look, we have a variable called save methods here. These methods are the methods that cannot make any changes in our database. All other methods are unsafe as they allow to make changes in the database. Now if I scroll down a bit, we have base permission class here. All the permissions such as allow any is authenticated and others, I mean we, we specify in settings, are extended from this class. If we examine the base permission class, it has two methods and they, they both return true. If I scroll down a bit, we see the allow any class, which is extended from base permission. As you can see, the has permission method here return always true. I mean, it always return true. So it means no conditions, return true in any way. Well, uh, if I examine the is authenticated method, it has a condition here. This method will return true or false according to the condition. The condition is that there must be a user and that this user must be authenticated. So, so if both of the conditions return true, then it will return true. So let's examine the is admin user class here. The condition here is there must be a user and the, the user must be staff. And the, we have is authenticated or read only class here. And the, it has some conditions as well. If the request that method is in safe methods, it will return true, but if false, and then it will check this condition, and there must be a user, and the, the user must be authenticated. As you can see, we have examined a few basic permission. We know that we can use these classes, I mean these permissions, to determine a global permission policy. But I want to set a permission policy for a certain view. Let's see how to do that. Our scenario is that we only want to allow authenticated users to access our books, but everyone can retrieve, delete, or update any of them. Go back to views. Here, I can make these determinations thanks to the permission class variable. Let's write it. In a list, we can specify permissions. For example, let's write permissions that we will use is admin. That comes from permissions. Let's say is admin user. And uh, I save it. I go back to Chrome. Refresh again. I will list my all box. I will log in as admin. I can list the books here, as you can see. 
but if I log out, authentication were not provided. So I need to log in to see the books. Since I haven't set a policy for the detail view, if I go to detail of any book, let's say book slash one, you see I can access the details and even do update or delete operations here. Let's go back to editor again. If I copy the permission class and paste it for detail view and I save it, refresh the page again, as you can see, I can't access the endpoint anymore. But if I log in, I could do it because I am admin. I am going to create another user. This will be a standard user, not a super user or stuff. But let's go to again. This is just a standard user. It has no authority. Now let's go to the endpoint again. I will log out and uh, I will log in a standard user. As you can see, Django didn't allow this action. It is great actually. We will go to editor again. However, if I change the permission here as is authenticated, I will do it for this one also I save it from now on all authenticated users will be able to access these endpoints so let's refresh the page look this time I was able to perform the listing and the creation operations as a standard user because now it is enough to be authenticated to bypass the permission wall now i want to go to source code of permissions again there are some permissions here we already know them but how can i solve a problem when these permissions are not enough for my project or when i want to set different permissions of course, we are going to learn how to write our own permission classes. For example, let's say if the user is super user or stuff, this user will have been authorized to do updates and delete operations. But if the user is not a super user or stuff, it can only list books. Now we will see how to write custom permission from scratch. Let's go to views again. You know we keep everything related to api under this folder and we will write uh, our custom permissions here so let's create a file and uh, let's import the permissions from rest framework now i'm going to create a new class the conditions of which i have determined Now I right click and go to definition again. As we learned, all the basic permissions are extended from base permission class. And we will create our custom permission class by extending the base permission class. So go back to our custom permission. Since we extend the class from base permission, we can use the uh, has permission method inside here. It returns true by default, but we will set conditions here. What we wanted to do is, if the user is super user or stuff, the user will need to be authorized to do update or delete operations but if the user is not a super user or stuff it can only list the books so our first condition is if request that method is one of the these uh, safe methods 
everyone will able to list our books by making get request. So we re return true here if this condition becomes true. Okay, we specified the our first condition here. So I want to use this class instead of this. So we need to import this class inside the view. Let's do it from books. So I could import it from uh, permissions, but the permission comes from API, not from the REST framework. So we created this class. Instead of this one, we will use the custom uh, permission here. I save it. I will use the same permission in detail as well. I save it and uh, go to Chrome, refresh page, and uh, I will log out. As you can see, I am not logged in, but I can see the books, so I can list the books, I mean. Let's log in as admin. Even though I am an admin, I can pass the permission wall because we only set a condition for uh, save methods here. So we need to write another condition for unsafe methods. So let's write it means that if request.user is a super user or if request.user is stuff then return true save it and then go to chrome again refresh the page i scroll down the form which allows me to make a post request is here by the way we don't need to write the if statement like this we can we can write it directly while returning it like this. Let me show you. This expression and the, the if statement are exactly the same and the, it looks neither that way. Okay, I will make the if state comment. I save it. I go back to Chrome again, refresh the page. I am logged in as admin. I can still see the, my form here. But if I log out, I don't see the form anymore. Actually, this permission issue is quite simple and fun. It may be seem a little difficult at first, but definitely trying to adapt the codes I wrote here on your project will definitely help you to be master on it. Just watching videos is not going to help much. I will end the video here. We will talk about object permission in the following video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.